Hello everyone, it's been a minute since I've made a YouTube video. I know, people have been messaging me and saying, Hannah, get back on it, you're, you're kind of slacking, and I understand, I get it. But today, you're gonna see a very special video about a very special girl, and this girl's name is Amaya. I met her recently through my oncology office. Amaya is currently 13, going through acute lymphoblastic leukemia treatment, and I was also 13 when I was diagnosed, so, and I, I mean, I also went through leukemia, the same one. And when I see Amaya, I just, I see myself and I see all the things that I had to go through and I just feel for her. I completely understand everything that she has to go through. And I think it's nice that she has someone to talk to that is finished with treatment. Cause I really didn't have that besides my YouTube channel and getting to see the comments of people saying, oh, um, I am a five-year survivor, congratulations, you're doing great, Hannah, on going through treatment, and those comments got me through treatment, like just seeing people that have completed chemo and are living a life, a normal life, just seeing them like thrive is just the greatest thing ever, and so Amaya has a very, very special place in my heart, and she also wants to share her treatment journey with you guys through her YouTube channel. I will put her little YouTube channel right here. You guys are definitely wanna going. Well, you guys are definitely wanna go and follow this because she is awesome and she posts more than me, so she'll definitely give you more insight. <laughs> but um, she's amazing. Like I can't describe her in words, but she has requested that she wants to get a vlogging camera. And vlogging cameras are, if you haven't looked into it or like you're not into vlogging or posting videos, vlogging cameras are very expensive, like unreasonably, unreasonably priced. But um, she wants one because she really wants to continue this YouTube journey and sharing her story, which I fully support 100% because, I mean, you're helping so many people with being able to share your treatment and show what it's like to go through treatment and not just hear it secondhand. It's truly amazing that she wants to do this because not everybody can do this. I mean, it's just the amazing personality she has in wanting to share that. And I 100% agree with her that she is doing amazing and that this is the right thing for her. So Eva Mermaids Get Leukemia has donated a vlogging camera to Amaya in honor of their two year anniversary. Even Mermaids Get Leukemia was started two, almost, almost two years ago. It was started on January 21st, and that was also my 16th birthday, so it's a little birthday anniversary present from me. So we are gonna go deliver that camera today to Amaya during chemo, and due to COVID, she is, I'm not allowed to go in the room, so she's gonna come down, and we're gonna surprise her with lunch. She doesn't know that I'm coming. She thinks it's one of the nurses surprising her with lunch. So she's gonna come down and get lunch and I'm gonna, it's the first time I actually get to see Amaya. So this is gonna be our first time seeing each other reaction and her um, special vlogging camera present reaction. And I'm like shaking cause I'm so excited. Um, this is um, the second like reaction that I've got to see in person through Even Mermaids Get Leukemia. And it just warms my heart so much cause giving back after going through something like that just it just get it's undescribable the feeling that overwhelms you and that just comes over you and it's just like i want to do more i want to do better like i want to reach more kids i want to go out and spread the awareness like everywhere i want everybody to know that this is special and that everybody should get have this feeling at least one time in their life and it doesn't have to be through cancer treatments if you're wanting to give back in a special way go and volunteer volunteering is so much fun and to many people it might not sound fun but by the end of your hour or two hour or day of volunteering, it's the best feeling you'll have in the entire world. Like there is no other feeling comparable to volunteering. So for my birthday, go volunteer, go donate blood, um, go donate money to a special organization in your heart, um, anything. Just, I want, for my birthday, I want you to feel as 
amazing as it feels to give back. I want you to have that feeling. That's the one birthday present I'm asking. So if you're family, friends, or just somebody watching this, go do it. You will, you'll think, you'll thank yourself. You'll thank yourself later. But um, I'm just so excited. This is gonna be amazing, you guys. This is a very special video. Usually we do not post um, these types of reactions and anything on Eva Mermaids just due to confidentiality reasons. And so Amaya has agreed to this and I just think it's amazing. She's, like I said, she's a very special, amazing girl and I'm so excited for you guys to get to meet her. So let's go get in the car and deliver her present. Okay, so my dad and I, <laughs> we are on our way to go to the hospital. We are really close um, and we are gonna go meet um, Angie, the social worker out downstairs and then Amaya is gonna come down and she doesn't know about the camera. So this, everything is a surprise, like I said. This is gonna be like first time reaction, um, camera surprise video. It's gonna be the good stuff, so. Stay tuned, we are almost there. <laughs> okay, so we are at the hospital, gifts in hand. We are going to find Angie, so once we find her, we'll start recording again. <laughs> Okay, funny story real quick. Amaya posted on Instagram while we were waiting for Angie. We're still waiting for Angie. And I'm gonna put a little snippet of what she said because it was so cute. And it's just a little cute story to see while we're waiting. Hi. I'm so Here. excited to meet you. I'll get the brakes on, you can get it. I just... <laughs> Here. I love your hair. Oh, that is you. so pretty. <laughs> and they have Santa hats on them. It's not a Christmas present, right. but... <laughs> a little birdie put something in her ear. Yeah. What? A so a little birdie put something in my ear. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh-huh. 
so now you can film your treatment and share with other people. You didn't have to do that. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to. Hmm. Of course. And her ring light is coming in the mail today. She you do need she a ring light. Ring light. She, yeah. didn't, she didn't even know she was okay. getting this, but she had ordered a ring light. Oh, that is the first oh. thing I ordered for my YouTube was a ring light so I could put my phone on it. <laughs> That's awesome. Because so, so nice. <laughs> I am obsessed with your YouTube now. So. I didn't know you watched it. Of course I do. Of course I do. And. So we're filming this video. Is it okay if I put this on my YouTube no, so, yeah, I can have, yeah. so I can have your fault or my followers go to your page and watch your story? Oh yeah, thank you so much. Yes, because I had so many amazing people reach out to me over YouTube and say, this is why we need more people to film their treatment because people don't get to see the true, just they see the movies and people don't understand what it's really like. So it's amazing that you're doing this and sharing what it's like to go through a cancer. Mm -hmm. Remember that day when you said, ask her for donations? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is, there, is there any organization? Mm -hmm. yeah, a little light bulb just went off, and I was like, I was like can I hear so more funny. about what and it is I was, so, I was floored. I was like, oh my God. No. <laughs> you were. People want like, donations. Maybe it's Facebook. You know, the whole thing. You She's wanting cameras. And she wanted to let her tell me. And I was like, I think, I don't know. Let me hear this out. So Let me hear it out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. so wonderful. This is so nice. Yeah. And it's so funny because I had only met Angie like only like a couple weeks earlier. Like yeah. if we wouldn't have met that, if I wouldn't have met her that day, like exactly, it's just everything like like plays out so perfectly. Fell into place. It does. And you were you needed somebody to. Uh, to ask you. Well, did you hear? I don't know who was that nurse. So now you know why that nurse said that one just a minute ago. Oh, I know. What? The nurse came in. Oh, I did not hear your name. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, man. I'm looking in the bathroom and I'm like, no. No, I said she, that. I don't know what nurse. Do you know which one that was? Uh, she said she knew Hannah. Oh, yeah. but I was like, I oh, said, I bet it was Lori. Oh, there's just going to say Lori. I bet it was Lori. I don't know she knows. She, we haven't met her yet, but she does know Hannah. Oh, that's right. I heard you guys were getting. Yes, that's right. Oh, I love Lori. <laughs> <laughs> <They're so funny. laughs> Emily wanted to tell you hi. Okay, yes. I have a funny story about Emily for you. When you go back up there, you need to tell Emily to sing you Slippery Fish and record it. Okay. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> and it, like, all you have to do is say, just Slippery Fish. She'll get it. Okay. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I love it. It's the funniest thing. Angie Gregg, too, said to say hi. Oh She's God. out of the yeah. building right now, but she was super sad that she didn't get to come down and say hi to you guys. I know. I wanted to go up so bad. I know. You, it's going to sound so stupid, but yeah, like when you leave, you almost want to come back just to see I'll all see the nurses. Everybody. And like, well, they're they part of your life. They do. They become your best friends. And like, it's just, just so crazy because it's like not like. We were driving up here, and I was like, isn't this crazy that this used to be our everyday drive, and now it just seems like a distant memory. We were walking up today. She had always got bags, but I had more today because we got to stay here all night for her, or for the night for the MRI. I said, I swear, every time we come here, it looks like we're moving in. She's like, well, this is our second home. It, it, it will be, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, I was going to say, we can. I want to say.